Let's talk a little bit about my lawnmower. I think I might have figured out what's wrong with it. Okay, viewers, I've had this lawnmower five or six years, maybe a little longer. Only now figuring out the engine's not properly grounded. A while ago, I came in here and it cranked for a little bit, but it's grinding slow like it wasn't getting 12 volts. And I think I just kind of accidentally figured out what was wrong. It got to where it wouldn't even turn over. And I got to checking my wire and I thought, maybe a loose wire. And when I pulled on this ground wire where it connects to the engine right here, it was loose a little bit and it tightened up. Then the lawnmower fired right off. I think that ground cable's been loose for a long time. All right, viewers. I mentioned the other day about my ground wire being grounded to the engine right here. I've already disconnected it. See these little screws that hold this plastic cover on? They actually grounded through that with a major ground wire and whatever these wires go to. I guess it goes to everything else. But it got hot and melted right to the plastic. I can't even get it off. I might have to pry it off. It's melted right into the darn plastic. Look at that. Big old glob of melted plastic. I had to, no, that was, it didn't stick to the aluminum. But it wasn't getting a good connection. The other day, I, uh, when I found it was loose, it burnt my finger, it was so damn hot. So I sent it off a place over here on this crossbar. The only bolt I got is a little bit too long, but I don't think it'll matter because that spring sticks up two inches. That just holds my seat up. I think I can ground my two wires right there. And I don't think it has to be grounded straight to the engine. The engine's probably got a ground bolted to the frame. Anyway, we're gonna try that. And the screw that belongs in there, I got it in my pocket, I'll put it back in, but it certainly wasn't getting a good ground to my engine. I think it's been that way since the day I bought it. Why would they? ground a colder engine to the little screw that holds the plastic cover on. Does not make any sense to me. If I can do this without dropping a nut and bolt. 